wouldn't you guys know it, right about the time that I start up another Sevtech series, we get another big mod pack come out. So this is Sky Factory 4. This mod pack came out yesterday. It is available on the Twitch launcher. I believe it is also available on the FTB launcher because this is an FTB mod pack. So this one has a lot of mods that I have not seen in Sky Factory before. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this is going to go. But so we are going to go ahead and create a new world. And this is one thing that I did see. So uh, we have a lot of different types of maps. So we can do the traditional Sky Factory, tree and a dirt block, Sky Grid. Now, if you've ever seen this map, I played it many years ago. It was a concept brought about by, uh, oh geez, now I'm drawing a blank, uh, Seth Bling. And there are three blocks, I believe three blocks, between every block in every direction. And once you finally get figured out what's going on in this, you can do just about anything. So compact sky, bonsai trees, and um, in compact machines, huh? Yeah, no, I think I'll pass on that. How how do you get amplified sky block? I I don't know. So apparently we can do a lot of that. Looks interesting. So there is a a few things here that could be kind of interesting. Sky Factory. Ha. Ha ha. That's Twilight Forest Tree. Which, by the way, Twilight Forest is in this. Stone Factory. Okay, well, we're just going to do the traditional Sky Factory. We're going to create this world. Um, survival. All cheats off. Bonus chests off. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. You guys can see what the seed is. And... Let's go ahead and create this. So the beginning of the mod pack is going to be much the same as any other Sky Factory is, where we're going to be just trying to get a little bit of trees to build out a platform. And once we get a platform, we'll be able to move on to some other things. So I'm not going to bore you guys through that. And I will do a little bit of that work off camera. But as soon as we get loaded in here, first thing we're going to do Let's take a look at our quest book. So, the quest book, uh, yeah, there is a lot of stuff here. Wow. So, getting started, and then starting from the bottom, that's Dirt Tree, Air Fryer. There, there's going to be a lot of stuff here. Silver Spoon, this tree is forever. What on earth is, what is all of this? I don't know. Age of Enhancement. So, by the way, this pack is set up by uh, Darkost Darkosto, or however you say that name, the same person that made Sevtech Ages. So, yes, going to be uh, probably a similar feel to that. But so, I'm not really too sure I like the way this tree looks. These are dirt leaves from Sky Orchids and a dirt log there is not much of a tree here so let's go ahead and just get this first thing is going to be okay so what did we get there starting from the bottom what do we do to get that so obtain a dirt acorn okay so that would be this here from dirt tree leaves you can they can be used as a food source raw or cooked in a furnace. Hmm. Very interesting. So, yeah, there is definitely going to be some stuff that is different about this. So we want to be very careful. Okay. So we also got a dirt sapling. So the dirt acorn must be like the apples from a normal oak tree. But, yeah, so I am going to break out all but the bottom row of leaves here. And hopefully we can get another sapling, yes? Well, we got another acorn. So, yep, now I am just going to be punching trees and... What on earth did we pick up there? 
What is that stuff? Dirt resin. What do we do with this? So we can take dirt resin, combine it with dirt acorns, and get dirt. Nice. So we don't even have to worry about using uh, a barrel or anything. And it, honestly, I don't even know if we have barrels in here. So no, it does not look like we have ex nihilo. So this could be interesting. So yes, I am going to just do what we usually do here and get some stuff going. And let's see, do we have Tinker's Construct? Yes, we do. Okay. Kind of figured that would be a thing. And what, we can't make that into a slab version? Okay, fine, whatever. But yep, I did get an acorn or an acorn, a sapling. I got an acorn too. So yeah, now it is just going to be working my way down through this and hopefully don't fall off and lose everything. And I'll see you guys after I've got a little bit of a platform going here. Goodbye, my acorn. So I have got at least a little bit of a platform here, but the last tree that I harvested only gave me one sapling. I'm a little concerned about that. And so we are going to take some sticks and make these guys into a wooden crook. So yeah, durability 118. And uh, yeah, this is from Inspirations and this gives us Captain Hook. So yeah, there is one of our advancements. And let's go ahead and we do have vein miner in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this and vein mine this tree. And there we go. We got 11 saplings from that. That is much better. Makes me feel a lot better about doing this. But so we can vein mine the tree, which is kind of nice. And that gives us all of this stuff. So now we do have some acorns and we have some resin. So let's go ahead and use this stuff and make ourselves some dirt so two more pieces of dirt and we get dirty dancing and i would imagine because of the author of this mod pack we're probably going to get a lot of references to various pop culture things so that's going to be kind of interesting to see what all is in here but so we want to go at least four blocks away before we place down our next dirt block. So let's go ahead and get over here. And right here, we'll place down another dirt, place down another sapling. So we should be able to really start going to town on this, getting some uh, saplings and wood and things like that. And I'm not sure <laughs> what the path is going to be for how we do this stuff because this is quite a bit different already from what i am used to on the traditional sky factory so yeah that's gonna be really fun but now one really nice thing we do have the tree twerking simulator so we can make these trees grow quite rapidly which is very nice I am very happy about that. So let's go ahead and place down these last few slabs. There we go. We're going to run up here in the middle and wiggle our butt a little. And let's see which tree grows first. So come on, trees. Let's go. Trees, trees. Hey, there we go. All right, so our crook. Let's go ahead and do that. So we got a few more acorns. So we could get more dirt. And then we go like this and get more wood. And we'll just see what we need to do next. So let's go ahead and place sapling down here and let's take a look. It's, wow, that sapling is huge in our hand. All right, so let's take a look at what we need to do next. So we've gotten these here. So we do have eating dirt. Cook any acorns in a furnace to increase their nutritional value. Okay, well, we don't have any way to cook anything yet, so we got to have something else. Air fryer, obtain a Tinker's Construct drying rack. Okay, well, that shouldn't be very difficult for us to do. So let's go ahead and, well, you know, I don't want to turn all of the planks into, uh, or all of the logs into planks. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a drying rack, and that will take care of that one. So next up, 
I love Lucy. Craft a rustic crushing tub. Okay, or hardwood. Craft a petrified sapling. Okay, well, how do we get a petrified sapling? Okay, let's take a look at that. Petrified. All right, so a petrified sapling. We need petrified acorns. Petrified acorns are made by drying acorns. Okay, well, this could be a little bit of a time-consuming process. So, yeah, I will go ahead and craft the rest of these into uh, planks. Go ahead and place this one here. And I'm going to go ahead and make another one, too. Because, uh, yeah, we're going to need a few of these. So I'm going to dry out some of these acorns. I'll get a few more trees, increase the size of the island. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Whoa. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Those are all over the place. Neat. I, I do have to say, the sky looks amazing in this. So, yeah. All right, well, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, and these don't just disappear? Well, can we repair them somehow? That would be something to know. Okay, let's, uh, let's just see. So, okay, well, we can repair them. Can we use just wood? Okay, so we don't have to make half a billion crooks. Nice. All right. Well, I will see you guys after a little bit. Okay, I just got the achievement or advancement sticky keys. Collect eight dirt saplings and eight oak logs. Increase the speed of tree growth by rapidly pushing left shift near a sapling or by running. You'll notice green particles when activated. So, yeah. If you do that and Sticky Keys is turned on, that is not a fun thing to deal with. So yeah, I've already got two of the petrified acorns, so we're getting closer, but a, an infinite builder's wand. Did I have that before? Or is that something that I just got? So what does this do? I, uh, I don't know. I am not sure. But yeah, we are getting very close on these acorns. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get another tree real quick. Why not? Come on, trees. There we go. So once again, the crook broke. Let's go ahead and repair that real quick. There we go. Lots of stuff. And maybe by the time we get this tree cut down, we'll have more acorns. So, go ahead and replant that. Are these? Uh, they're getting close. One more. Can we get another tree real quick? It's getting to be nighttime. Come on, trees. Come on, trees. Let's go. Let's grow. Grow trees. There we go. Oh, they both grew. Nice. Okay, well, let's go ahead and fix this again because, uh, yeah, apparently we really run through this stuff. So, a little bit more over here. And there we go. We've got our eight acorns. So now we need to make the petrified sapling. So we need a dirt sapling and the petrified acorns. And there we go. So we get hardwood. So what have we got next, and where was that other one? So we got the sticky keys, and we got Captain Hook. So stop slabbing yourself. Save space and craft a crafting slab, furnace slab, or chest slab. Huh. So we can still get that, but it's different. Interesting. <laughs> wow. There, there's just so much stuff here. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what this uh, petrified tree looks like. And what is this going to give us? So let's go ahead and break all of this stuff out. And we have a lot of saplings already. That is nice. So what else can we do with these saplings? So we can make an overworld cake from telepastries. Okay. Creeping moss. A clay sapling if we get clay acorns. Clay Akins. Wow. Petrified resin. 
dirt resin and a dirt sapling for a clay sapling. Okay, so I would imagine we'll get some petrified resin from this petrified sapling. Now, what kind of... It's probably going to give us petrified wood, too, and I... I yeah, it looks like there's going to be a lot of different types of saplings here. So I'm really interested to see what some of these look like, but they look kind of nasty so far. So, can we grow, please? Please, can we grow? Are you going to grow? Sometime today would be nice. There we go. All right, so petrified leaves. So that gave us some petrified acorns. Petrified saplings. Let's go ahead and fix this guy. Because we need to. And I would imagine the other stuff is going to come from the wood itself. So, petrified logs. Let's go ahead and break these and we'll probably get some petrified resin. Yep. Kind of figured as much. Alright, so what did we need to do with this? So... Oh, we can use that to make cobblestone. Nice. So that's how we get going in this stuff. But we can also make a clay sap sapling. And I'm kind of feeling that might be what I want. So let's go ahead and make a clay sapling. And we get clay acorn. So, so that we can get the clay acorns. So yeah, it looks like we... No, not petrified. Clay. So it looks like I'm going to be doing this for a little bit. And, oh, well, this one grew. Let's see if we can get anything else interesting here. So this is very much different. Very much. So we got some clay resin uses on this. Clay acorns and clay resin to make clay blocks. Tin amber. What do we do with that? We can smelt it into tin ingots. Oh, nice. So we can already see how we're going to start getting some ores. So, yes. Very interesting indeed. So what is the next tree in the line? Okay, well, we can slop in a bucket. So we can, using your new clay tree, craft and fire a clay bucket. Or we can get break a leg, craft a bone sapling. We have don't sieve on me craft a gravel sapling okay so yes it looks like we're gonna be getting a lot of stuff here uh, 16 tons craft a coal sapling of course so yep blue man group <laughs> oh my god the puns are going to be terrible in this i'm sure all right well i am going to just be collecting some stuff for a little bit I will probably make myself a little bit of cobblestone, make a furnace so that we can get a little bit of uh, food because, yeah, I don't, whoops, I did not want to break that with just the sapling, but yeah, we need some food and I think the best way to do that is going to be to make some cobble. And we need the petrified, yeah, we need the petrified resin for that. So let's make sure that we're getting some petrified saplings. And, yep, I will be back in a little bit. And I decided I wanted you guys to see this. So we're going to go ahead and make our first cobblestone here. So in order to make a furnace, we need 12 petrified acorns and 15 petrified resin. Well, we have a bit more than that. So we're going to go ahead and make four of them and we get on the rocks. So now we want to take this, convert it into slabs, and we are going to... No! I did not see that. No! No! I need more petrified resin and more petrified acorns. I'm hungry! Fine, I'll eat some dirt acorns. That's not very nutritious. I guess I do have a piece of bacon. That's a little better. A little bit. Oh, I'm sad now. I need more stuff. So can I please get some more resin? Okay, so we have seven more resin. So we are gonna need one more, no, three more resin. 
I don't want the clay saplings. I want the petrified saplings. So we should be able to get this with one more tree. We get one more tree. We have enough acorns already. So all that we need is the resin. Can we please get just three more pieces of resin from these four blocks, please? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so, yeah. Now that I feel kind of dumb for doing that wrong, there we go. So now we have enough to make our slab furnace. Okay, so stop slabbing yourself. Let's go ahead and put this down and we'll drop in a little bit of oak planks and some sticks. We'll make a piece of charcoal and we're gonna cook some of these dirt acorns right after we make a little bit more charcoal. So we should be able to cook that one log, yep. So let's go ahead and put in four pieces of wood and we'll finish out with some dirt acorns. So right now, these give us half a haunch of hunger. So the uses on these give us the cooked ones, which give us one. Uh, yeah. And these guys give us one. Yeah, same thing again. So pretty much no matter what, we can cook any of the acorns and turn them into a little bit better food source so i think what we're going to want to do is put about 19 of these in here and that'll use up uh yeah that should use up all of the charcoal almost to the t so yep got a little bit of a food source not much but a little bit of a food source and right now the island is looking like total garbage so, yeah, let me keep getting some stuff done here. And hopefully we can start getting something to make this look a little nicer here fairly soon. So I'm getting a little bit of stuff set up here. I've got two dirt saplings, two petrified saplings, and two clay saplings set up out here. And next to them, I have a crafting station to repair my wooden crook as well as a crafting station containing their acorns and resin to make their various things. Now, the cobble, we have gotten quite a bit of that. So the petrified, we have been harvesting tons of those, but also we're starting to get some clay. Now, I want to continue on with this, but first, I want to make a little something. So to make the slab uh, crafting table, I didn't actually look at this before and I was like, okay, we can make a crafting station. But if we combine this with a stick, we get two crafting slabs. So that is quite a bit better. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one here and we'll go ahead and grab this torch and put one there as well. Oh, nope, can't do that because then we cannot open our chest. So yes, I did make a chest and put various items in it. And so, yeah, we've got that. So instead, I think what I might do, I'm going to break this spot out of the floor. Yeah, lost that one. And we'll go ahead and put these guys down here. Now, I'm curious to find out if these guys will hold their inventory. So let's see if we put this in there. No. Okay. Well, that's fine. I can live with that. But so we are starting to get a bunch of the clay saplings and getting some of the clay. And so that's kind of good. And we should be able to maybe work up to the next couple of things. So we need to make a few of these clay blocks to continue forward. So now we will want to probably break these down because it does say that we need to make a clay bucket. So let's take a look at the clay bucket and see for sure, how do we make this? And I would imagine it's just with some clay balls. Yep, so let's go ahead and place these down and grab ourselves some clay balls. All right, so let's go ahead and make this. No, that is not how you make that. And that should give us slop in a bucket. All right, so let's take a look at this and Next up, we have craft any crucible to catch rainwater 
create lava, dye items, and a bunch of other uses. So it looks like we can actually make a wooden cauldron of all the strange things. So before we do that, what are the uses on this? So we, huh, we can turn the unfired clay back bucket back into clay. And of course we can smelt it into a regular clay bucket. And the uses on this one is just pretty much pretty much the normal stuff. So let's take a look then at the cauldron. Okay, so we have more cauldrons. Very simple, just like an iron cauldron. And you know what? Why not? We have a whole bunch of cobble available to us. Let's go ahead and make seven cobble and we will make ourselves a cobble cauldron. Of all the things bubble bubble all right so this one here I think we're gonna use for something special and the others we're gonna make a bunch more of them out of wood so that we can collect some rainwater so how many can we get here nine out of a stack that'll work so let's go ahead and dump all of these down the side here and that will be something we can use here in just a little bit so we will need to catch some rainwater, which it has not rained yet, before we can probably move on to this next one yet, because we need to go through there. So we do have a few others here. Break a leg, craft a bone sapling. So it looks like we need the I Love Lucy first for that. So let's take a look at Rustic. So in Rustic, we need to make this guy, the crushing tub. All right, this is just slabs and planks. That is really easy. All right, well, let's go ahead and make that real quick. And what do we do with this? So I love Lucy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. So let's set this over here. And yes, I know, I keep breaking uh, trees every time they grow, but kind of important that we get these resources so gotta make sure that we're keeping the trees mowed down whenever they pop up and uh, eventually we'll have all the resources we could ever need so next up in our advancements then or achievements or what advancements yeah so break a leg craft a bone sapling so how do we get the bone sapling so bone sapling so for this we need bone meal so we are going to have to make a mob farm before we can continue on to that one so that only makes sense so bone meal is there any special way we can get this Ooh, gravel with one bottle of water makes bone meal oh astral sorcery oh that only stands to reason because uh astral sorcery is just an absolutely amazing mod oh i cannot wait to get into that so i guess we have one of two options here we can either try to get some uh gravel and hope that we get some water to put into that uh, or put that gravel into or we can make ourselves a mob farm and yeah it has been several days in game and it has not rained so I am guessing we probably will not be getting any water for a little while so I think we'll have to head on to the mob farm so let's just see what else we've got here we've got don't sieve on me so we need to craft a gravel sapling we needed to get that anyway so let's go ahead and take a look at the gravel sapling the gravel sapling is made with gravel acorns and a petrified sapling how do we get the gravel acorns um crushing tub petrified acorns okay so we need some of our petrified acorns let's go ahead and grab a few of those so we need eight of them 
Okay. So, how do we do this? Oh, okay. And we're getting some type of a juice, too. I wonder what we're getting. So, let's take a look at that. What on earth are we getting for that? So, it's a sap. So, what do we do with these? Okay, so we can take a gravel acorn with some sap and turn it into a sand acorn. Okay, or we can take a petrified acorn and turn it into a gravel acorn. Okay, lots and lots of stuff that we need to do. All right, so we need the petrified sapling for this, which we have a bunch of those. So petrified sapling plus gravel acorns, gravel sapling. All right, so I think I need to extend the platform out further so that we can get two more spots for our gravel trees, and then we should be ready to continue through some of this stuff here, but that's going to have to be for another episode because I am out of time for today. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you have any thoughts about me playing Sky Factory 4, be sure to leave those down in the comments. Um, just to let you guys know, I will not be able to maintain three series, so I will be dropping Enigmatica 2. Unfortunately, I mean, we had done quite a bit in there, but yeah, I just started SevTech. Wandering One just joined me, and he is really excited about it. I am really excited about it. But I am also very excited about this mod pack, because this is so much different than anything that I've ever done. So yes, I will be doing that. And I guess I will see you next time. Bye. Whoops, that is not what I wanted. <laughs>